हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ गौर एंड आई एम द स्टूडेंट ऑफ सेकेंड ईयर फिजियोथेरेपी सो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द गेट एंड द गेट साइकिल सो फ्रेंड्स स्टार्टिंग विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द गेट गेट इज नथिंग बट एंड ट्रांसलेटरी प्रोग्रेशन ऑफ द ह्यूमन बॉडी विच इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द कॉर्डिनेटेड एंड रोटेटरी मूवमेंट्स ऑफ द बॉडी सेगमेंट्स दिस मीन्स दैट आवर बॉडी सेगमेंट्स शोज कॉर्डिनेटेड एंड रोटेटरी मूवमेंट्स विच हेल्प्स टू प्रोड्यूस द लोको मोशन दैट इज द गेट Now we will discuss about the gait cycle. So friends in order to study the gait, the gait is divided into different segments so that we can study it properly and understand it. So the gait cycle has two major phases that is the stance phase and the swing phase. So we will discuss both these phases in detail. Stance phase. So when the reference extremity is in contact with the ground then it is said to be in the stance phase. For example if we take our right or lower extremity has our reference extremity then it is said to be in the stance phase when it is in contact with the ground so this stance phase comprises of about 60% of the gait cycle swing phase so when the extremity is not in contact with the ground then it is said to be in the swing phase again for example if we take our right lower extremity has our reference extremity then when this right lower extremity is not in contact with the ground then it is said to be in the swing phase so this swing phase comprises of about 40% of the gait cycle when we are performing our gait then there comes a time when our both the extremities are in contact with the ground so this instant is called as double support so the double support occurs two times in a gait cycle when our right extremity is the leading extremity and second time when our left extremity is the leading extremity so each double support comprises of about 11% in the gait cycle so in all they consist of 22% in the gait cycle further we will discuss about events occurring in the stance phase and the swing phase so for this there are two major classifications one classification is given by the rancho los amigos and second one is the traditional classification so in this video we are going to discuss the traditional classification and at the end of the video we are going to discuss the differences between both this classification now we will discuss the events occurring in the stance phase so again for this we will take our right extremity as our reference extremity so the events which occurs in the stance phase are the heel strike followed by the foot flat mid stance heel off and toe off so heel strike is a point at which our reference extremity that is the right right extremity makes initial contact with the ground so it is also called as initial contact followed by the initial contact that is the heel strike is the foot flat so foot flat refers to the instant when our foot is completely flat on the ground and it occurs at the 7% of the gait cycle so friends when our reference extremity is making initial contact followed by the foot flat then our opposite extremity that is the left extremity is leaving the ground and it is preparing for the acceleration phase that is the bracing so there comes a point where our both the extremities are in contact with the ground and this is called as first double support followed by the foot flat is the mid stance so mid stance is the phase where our entire body weight is on our supporting extremity that is the right extremity so friends this mid stance occurs at the 30% of the gait cycle then followed by the mid stance is the heel off and toe off so heel off refers to the time period when our heels leaves the ground and it occurs at the 40% of the gait cycle then comes the toe off so toe off refers to the instant when our toes leaves the ground and goes into acceleration that is the pre swing so friends here comes the time of the second double support where our reference extremity is leaving the ground and our opposite extremity that is the left extremity is making initial contact so there are two double supports one occurring at the initial contact of the reference extremity and ones occur when the reference extremity leaves the ground then at the end of the toe off our stance phase get over and extremity goes into the swing phase so at the end of the stance phase the gait cycle is completed 60% now we will discuss about the events occurring in the swing phase so the swing phase consists of the following events that is the acceleration mid swing and the deceleration so to understand it and to memorize it properly we can call it as early swing mid swing and late swing 
So friends, first we will discuss about the early swing. So early swing begins at the end of the toe off phase and it continues till the mid swing phase. Early swing phase occurs between the 60 to 75 percent of the gait cycle. Then comes the mid swing. So the mid swing refers to the instant where our reference extremity comes beneath the body or the time period at the end of the early swing phase and the beginning of the late swing phase. And this mid swing phase occurs between 75 to 85 percent of the gait cycle. Lastly, discussing about the late swing phase, the late swing phase occurs between the end of the mid swing phase and the beginning of the hill strike. So friends, this late swing phase occurs between the 85 to 100 percent of the gait cycle. So this was all about the gait and the gait cycle. So I hope you understand this video and if you are having any doubt related to this then you can let me know in the comments below. Lastly I am sharing one image in which different classifications of the gait cycle is given. One is of Rancho Los Amigos that is RLS classification and second one is the traditional classification which we discussed. So in the RLS classification the stance phase is divided into initial contact, loading response, mid swing terminal swing and the pre swing and the swing phase is divided into initial swing mid swing and the terminal swing and in the traditional classification which we discussed the stance phase is divided into firstly the hill strike followed by the foot flat then comes the mid stance then comes the hill off and then lastly the toe off and the swing phase is divided into acceleration mid swing and and acceleration so for our convenience we remember it has early swing mid swing and late swing this was all about the gate cycle so next video i am planning to make on the variables of the gate cycle let's see how much time it takes so if you like this video then do hit the like button and if you are new to the channel do subscribe the channel and friends most important get vaccinated as early as possible so friends till then meet you in the next video take care bye bye